Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Professor Layton. Yes. Last time, we got out of the mine and discovered mm, this place might have a secrety secret. But now we must go back in the mine, swinging my pickaxe from side to side. No. If anyone remembers that song, let us know in the comments. What we must do is go to the castle to confront Anton himself. Yes. So, that is what we are doing. We did a little sneaky... Oh, camera. Shroom? Shroom. Big shroom. That looks strange. Oh, we only need two more pictures. All right. Yeah, that mushroom is already not supposed to be there. Uh, extra stump. Oh, missing a mushroom in the Big bottom left. Drink. So I'm scared what's going to happen when we click on that big mushroom. Because even in the normal photo, that's not there. I have a feeling that may be a man. That was almost too easy. Mushroom man. Mushroom man. Okay. Mushroom man, mushroom man, whatever could it mean? That means you lived a life of sin. True. Um. Ah. Haha. -ha. Tree oh. bushel. Tree bushel. You sneaky deaky. My theory. Huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. And now let's get that there hidden puzzle. Uh, boinky? Oh, there's a coin. Alright. Gonna... There it is. A hidden puzzle. Okay. It said that ancient peoples came up with constellations by staring up at the stars in the night sky. Here's a star-laden puzzle to celebrate their achievements. Below is a 6x6 grid of sky and stars arranged into nine larger blocks. Move these larger blocks so that each row and column contains three stars. Blocks with no outlines can't be moved. Okay. Each... Row and column no, oh. contains three. Okay. Each row and column contains three. That's already each column, but that's not rows. What is wrong with my thing? Okay. Okay, rows, not it. So, second row. What? Alright, I... One moment. Your, your, your thing is thinging? Yes, my thing is thinging. I need to reconnect. Alright. His thing should be thinging now. All right. The thing about the second row, it I think it has to be like just because yeah, I think it has to be that one. Got it. No. No? No. Left column. Uh. Okay, so let's let's this one has to be here, because there has to be two stars in the second row. 
that one's right that one's right what no. about this column yeah uh do that so that 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 four two Ooh. shit shit okay but let's let's do elimination this has to be here i think this one has to be here too so Um, no. Hmm. Damn, already the first one. So these bottom two need to have three. So I think this one has to be in one of these. No, 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 this this one has to be at the top because of the second row. Boom. There you go. Vendebar. Delicioso. Puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. True. All right. So, sir, now, um, big mushroom. Big mushroom. A strange mushroom, Professor. Curious. I've never seen this type before. Let me study it just a moment before we move on. It's another puzzle. Okay. 50 piggerats, goddamn. Collect all of the mushrooms in this forest as you pass through. Each circular clearing on the map contains mushrooms. You don't want to spend too long in this creepy forest, though, so find the quickest route that visits each clearing only once. Stay on the roadways. Well, it said stay on the roadways, but but I just no. Hmm. Bad. But but why would it say it then? You have to stay on the roads. You can't can't go in the dark green parts. It never said we have to, we can only visit them once. The, fi the quickest route that visits each clearing only once. Oh. Shit. Ass. May I try? Go ahead. Maybe, maybe.
No. Man, these ones aren't complicated. They just take a lot of trial and error. Let me try something. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Why do I feel like this one is way more complicated than the previous ones like this?
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You have it, you have it, you have it. We have to stay on the roads. Am I stupid? Am I, am I dumb? How did... How did I think there was a road there? I just figured it. This is 50 pickerettes for a reason. It's this one. This is this is the one that's tricky. Cause like Right? All of it. Except for that one. So also it looks like a mushroom. <sighs> I Okay, let me just try. No, that can't no. Let me. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, some zigzaggy. It's, it's the middle one. It's the middle one that connects to all of those that are only two directions. Wait. You have it. You have it. Let's go! Yes! Fuck you, you damn mushroom! Oh. Ugh. Works. Stupid ass My mushroom. Head hurts. Too easy. Twenty nine hundred. Pick a rapper, happer. Now that you're done looking at the godforsaken mushrooms, can we please move on? Leighton likes the mushrooms. Ooh, another lantern. No, another puzzle. More light. Oh, is it another one of these? Light the Force 3. Okay, it's another one of these. Alright. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I think so far I'm right. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, uh, that, that may be it. I think that's it. Alright, save. Yes. Bagoinki. Yes. Oh, you see, the diagonal one, the short diagonal ones really restrict where you gotta go. Yeah. Alright, let's get the hell out of this forest. Actually, I actually think there's one more forest, because there's a bog. There's a damn bog. So how do we... Why is it so chilly? Indeed. It's so cold out here that the lake has frozen over. Oh, I have an idea for a shortcut. Lane, if you suggest walking, puzzle. If you suggest walking across the okay. The lake in front of the professor is frozen solid. The ice is thick enough to stand on, but so slippery that any move in any direction causes them to slide. Okay. All right, it's one of these. All right. It's an us block puzzle. Okay, we need to get to this wall. May I trust? Go, go. See, I don't mind these as much as regular sliding block puzzles. I wonder why that is. There you go, you got it. Up. A goinky. Aren't I smart? Now to test my theory. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle. Unsolved. All right, let's get out of the forest. <laughs> Look at him. Our crossing went as well as we could have hoped for, but we can't stop here. Off we go. What the shit? Another one. There's no snow for us to walk on here, so we need to tread carefully. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, just uh, just another one. Right. All right. So this time, I think we need to get to this wall. Yes. Okay. How do we do that? Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Up, then left. Then down, then right, then down, then right. And we've done it. Yeah, I like these. I like these way more. Just leave it to me. Piece of cake. About to come up on 3,000 picarat. Well done. It's a miracle we both made it across without taking a tumble. I sense we're getting close, Luke. Let's keep moving. Another one! Okay! Yep, still the same. Still the absolute same. This Wonderful. time... Wait a minute. I think we need to get to here. Yep. Let me just. Yep. 
Yes, you got it. Dang, that was a 40. My brain is massive. I think these puzzles are just supremely easy for us. We have it. 30 30. We made it across. Finally. Ba Goinky. The Dark Forest exit. Look at that shit. Our brains are supremely large. Yeah, that doesn't look, uh, that doesn't look ominous at all. What's in that pit? Not at all. This looks like Annie's lobby. It does, doesn't it? Professor? Are you sure it's at the cross? Hmm. It looks, uh, catchy at best. Safe enough, I believe. Are you frightened, Luke? Bitch boy? Yes! Look at it! Now, Luke, it may seem scary, but if you stay calm and keep moving forward, you'll be just fine. Try this puzzle. It will help take your mind off a little trip. Or, you know, avert your eyesight so you fall. Luke and Professor Layton stand at one end of a rickety old bridge. Afraid of falling into the chasm below, Luke's legs have become stiff with fear, and he can only walk across the bridge in increments of one or three planks at a time. The narrowness of the bridge prevents Luke from doubling back the way he came or switching the foot he's using to step forward while standing on it. Use your stylus to create a path that guides Luke safely across the bridge while avoiding any gaps in the planks. I think you, you almost just did it while I was just reading the instructions. What kind of walking does he have to... Weird. Uh, Bagoinky? Bagoinky. Well, that was simple. This should do the trick. Behold, I am a mastermind. I didn't even have to attempt that one. Feel a little bit better, but that bridge still's awful. Yeah, I don't know. So, it feels like we're going into the Trek One castle. But unfortunately, that makes me donkey. Mm hmm. At least I pull bad bitches. That's right, you are. Alright, so that's actually the last hint coin for chapter six. So I think, sir, once we walk into this castle, we're in the end of the game. Oh. Place is even creepier up close. Feeling nervous again, are you? Not to the slightest. Lying. Let's go. Let's go home. Err, somebody help me. What seems to be the problem, sir? There's a vampire in that castle. I thought I was a goner, but I managed to give him the slip. A real vampire? I heard bat flutters. I didn't stick around to check his fangs, sonny boy. I've got to get away from here. Arr! Do things with this vampire business, Professor? The rumor does seem to have spread throughout the population of Full Sense. Do you think it'd be more than a rumor? That's what we're here to find out. Just a few more steps and we'll find our answer ourselves. Alright, sir, what do you think? Actual vampire? Probably not. We had a, a village full of robots. An encounter at the end of the line. We're about to have a damn duel?
There it is. Alright. Let's walk in. It would appear you've solved at least 80 puzzles. I commend your perseverance and proclaim you worthy of entrance to this castle. Welcome. What the shit? That's not who I thought was talking. Nigel. Intrude, but we are investigating an important antique, this box we have here. The emblem on its lid seems connected to your house in some way. Would you have time to answer a few questions? Hmm. Hmm. I think this matter would best be addressed by the master. Please, come inside. Ooh. Wow, this place is really something else. Indeed, Luke Castle is extremely impressive. Sorry, the gremlin. This way, please. This man's. N you see the little ear flick? This man's donger reminds me of Igor. Good evening. Welcome to my house. Oh. That is not as deep as I thought your voice so, was. If I understand correctly, you're saying people fear the box because they believe it kills anyone who opens it. <laughs> That's quite a story, isn't it? It seems that the design on this box is connected to your family in some way. Can you tell me anything about this? It's true that it was a Herzen family heirloom. Although I parted with it a number of years ago, the garish emblem you mentioned wasn't exactly, uh, suited to my taste. Personally, I think it's quite spectacular. Oh, is that so? Well, chalk it up to my bad taste then. You know, I don't think he's telling us the whole story. Perhaps not. It's hard to say just yet. I'm sorry I'm not much help, though I confess, visitors are always delightful. I'm sure you've had a long journey, so please, do stay the night. Mm. That's spooky. Prepare the quarters for our guests, Nigel. Yes, right away, Master. Ew. Uh. Something funky. Yeah, so uh. he he looks exactly the same as in the picture. This is the poshest room I've ever seen. It's a room befitting the wealthiest and most influential family of Falsens. I have a hard time believing a place as pretty as this has a vampire lurking about it. Oh, you never know, Luke. Maybe Anton himself is a vampire, and you just haven't realized it yet. Anton? No way. He seems like a perfectly nice gent to me. You sure? You sure, Luke? Wait a second. I thought you didn't believe in vampires. Are you pulling my leg? There's something strange going on here, now that you mention it. What was that picture we saw in the Herzen Museum? Anton was in it, wasn't he? Indeed. The thing is, even though the photo was taken 50 years ago, Anton doesn't look a day older. He uses shea butter. So it's been bothering you too, has it? I can't quite understand how it could be possible. It's especially odd given that Mr. Beluga has clearly aged since the picture was taken. It would seem that both Anton and his castle warrant further examination. Has that famous Leighton intuition acting up again? I suppose you could say that, though I'd hardly call it famous. Why don't we start our exploration with this room? Okay. And, uh... Hey, huh. Hey, huh. And, uh, y'all make sure you get the coins here, because apparently this is a room you can't come back to. Oh. And there's four in there's here. There's four coins? Yeah, just to add insult to injury. But 209, we're on the, we're on the proper amount. And sir, we're in the last chapter. We're almost at the end of this damn game. 
Can you believe nice. it? Nice. After remember what? Ha uh, not even halfway through the episode yet. No, that's the episode. <laughs> Uh, that was all. There was a lot of puzzles. There was a lot of the, puzzles. A literal sliding block puzzle was very nice. Yes. That was fun. I liked that. I'm very happy we're actually making progress on this game. We're almost done. I feel like <laughs> out of all the games, this is the one that's been lording over us the longest, even though it shouldn't have. I think Leighton is angry at us. <laughs> but all right, I think with that, we'll end it there. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we walk around the castle and see what the shit is going on. I don't think this is Anton. This gotta be someone else. It just, it just has to be. Bye bye. Phanton, his son. Phanton. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.